Hi guys, my name is Joanne Hasty, and I'm an artist based in Vancouver. Most of my work is merging technology with fine art painting, but this morning I found out that one of my landscapes from a few years back have sold, so I wanted to tell you the story behind it and then connect it with some of the work that I'm doing right now. This one in particular that is sold is very special to me, so I wanted to tell a little bit of the story, not only for your interest, but also for the collector who's purchased it, because I want to pass on the story uh, and, and why this is so important to me, on top of the fact that they've also connected with this piece. So back in 2014, I was working both as an engineer and an artist, and I just had found out about um, artist residencies, and I was able to rearrange my, my life to be able to go on one of those. And I found one in a little town called Graniti, and the program was called Graniti Murales, and in exchange for painting a mural in the town, you were able to stay there without cost. So that was pretty exciting. I had already traveled to Italy a few times, and I was taking Italian lessons, so it was, a, it was an opportunity to practice my Italian and stay a little bit longer in Sicily. So actually, you might have remembered if you followed me since then, I did do an Indiegogo campaign, crowdfunded the trip, and had a lot of fun. And obviously, it was life-changing to me because I went back not only in 2016, but in 2017, I went back with um, 13 artists, sorry, 12 artists, including myself, back, um, to, and we each painted wall murals. So I have two wall murals in this little town of Graniti, Sicily. Now, if you go for a long run in, in this town and start heading south and then come around west, east, and then west back into the town, you're going to have a quite a hilly run. And on the far side of that, you'll actually happen upon this view. And when you're there, it's actually olive groves and grapes and all kinds of um, crops growing. So you'll have these little houses that are managing all of the land. And then you'll also see this epic view of Mount Etna. Now, one of the things I learned when I was in the town as you're painting wall murals is people, when you paint a wall mural, people want to connect with the piece that you're doing. And so I, I found out, although this was the most inspiring scene I happened on um, and the biggest painting I've done of Sicily, especially because I don't see live volcanoes every day. This was a very epic scene to me and even reading back about the history of, of Mount Etna was, was quite intriguing to me. I did find out that because Graniti is a province over from the province that has Mount Etna, they didn't connect with it as much. So they were hoping to have something in the mural that was a, they had a little bit more connection to. So I ended up painting a scene that's actually two kilometers closer than that scene there. So this long run had actually inspired a couple pieces. This piece as well as this piece, as you come out of the city, they always, in um, Sicily, they build the cemeteries at the top of the, the town so they have the best views. And just as you pass the cemetery, you come around the corner and you see this piece. And actually, if you look carefully, you see a fence, and that's actually me standing down here, and you come up on your run and you go around. So it's these, these winding streets. As an artist from North America, where our streets are very straight and wide, it's just so inspiring to see how the hills just layer on top of each other, and you have the sea in the background. So these two pieces are inspired from views on the same run that just take your breath away. Another thing about these pieces is after I had painted them, I did apply for some shows, so this, this piece in particular got me into the next level of status with the Federation of Canadian Artists. So now I'm an active signature status, um, which allows me to apply for more shows as well as jury shows. So that was an important aspect of this piece. Also it's hung for six months at the Italian Cultural Centre in Vancouver back in 20. 16, 2017. So that was a fantastic opportunity to share my work with people who were who are familiar with the places that I was painting. Now if you look a little bit over to your left, you'll see some of my newer pieces that I've already done some videos on. And these are, this cityscape does not exist is the current working title of these pieces. And they are created from an AI where I've put all of my travel photos together and then the AI creates new photos that are similar to those ones and then I paint them. Now what's been so interesting about painting these 
is although they're based off things that I've seen and the things that are important to me because I photograph them, they're not familiar to me. So I actually get lost in these photos and it's actually very difficult to find a photo to paint because I don't know what these places are and nobody knows what these places are. The place is not real. So in, it's a neat contrast for me to see those pieces which I, I enjoy painting and it's more about the shapes and things and, and confusion compared to this, this later piece where it's so much story and feeling and I can just, I remember the fear and the anxiety of going to Sicily. I actually missed my flight and got, in, had to sleep in Heathrow and it was, it was just a mess. So all those feelings of concern and nervousness and should I be going on a residency versus the pieces over there where it's, it's a painting of a place that's in, that merges all of my ideas. So I'm really excited to, that this piece has found a fantastic home. And if you have any questions about any of my pieces on my website, please don't hesitate to email me. My website is www.joannehasty.com. These days I'm creating lots of these videos so that um, to fill up my Patreon page. So if you have any questions or comments or want to hear something particular, whether it's a story about a painting or something about my process, I'd be excited to share it. If it's a little too behind the scenes, I then hide it on Patreon. So. Thank you so much for following my work, watching this video, and have a great day.